off with the colors They kinda tell me what I'm thinking I fell in love with the way we are And the way we lose it There's something different about us And the reason Hi friends, today is passport day Jason and I have gone to church Everyone else slept in Kinda had a bad night <laughs> With everyone Maybe Abby and once you slept decent. I woke up at midnight to Ashley on her iPad. Then well, because she couldn't fall asleep because her eye hurt. And my back. Yeah. And her back hurt. <laughs> and <laughs> I'll shut the. Oh, okay. yeah, you shut it real quick and then. Ow. Anyway. I'm sorry. We're so we're all pretty tired. I'm actually really looking forward to Sunday nap, but we're going to have to put that off for a couple hours. Um, we have to drive an hour away to go to the passport office. Um, but that's because we all need to get it. Same time. Everyone has their driver's license. You have the... Abby, you have yours. Oh, it's a little spider so Okay. Oh, cute little boy. Um, we all want to get it at the same time. Uh, be on the same schedule for getting passports and whatnot. And... Um, actually, all of these will last you into being an adult, actually, because they're, I think it's 10 years. Anyway. There's Max. There's Max. Max. Don't stop, because you will. I know, I know. Um, he probably misses you big time. He came over yesterday. Oh. Yeah. He had, we, they had a good time with him. him. He was kind of out. Yeah, he was kind of looking for you. Oh. Does that make you sad? It does. I know. He's a good dog. I'll bring him over again. Yeah. Um, but anyway. So we all have to go and the hours at post offices are absolutely ludicrous for getting a passport. Our, any, anywhere within a 30 minute radius of us, um, none of the post office, well no post, post office is open on Sunday, number one. Number two, their hours for passports are like from 10.15 to 11.15 on Tuesdays. It's like, it, it doesn't make any sense and that's like for an appointment and then, um, or no, for no appointments. You can't even make an appointment. So I couldn't know for sure when I needed to pick kids up from school, but I might have to wait in line for an hour to not actually make it in before they close back up. So we're just doing this now, get ready for our trip to Japan next year and make sure there's enough time. Not good, um, man. Well, it takes a long, many, many weeks for these passports to come back. So we don't want to risk it. You're, Kaylee, you're not going, right? We'll see how long the, and easy this process is. Okay, so far it's going. <laughs> We're the only ones here. There's no line. There's a little thing. Please take a number. But he came right out and we laid everything out here on the table um, out here. And uh, he just went through everything. And I know. I'm scratching down. I'm trying to be discreet. They're right behind like a glass wall. Um, they... Uh, there's like so many papers you don't actually need to print off. <laughs> so threw a lot of that away. And a lot of our copies of their birth certificates didn't really come through. So they luckily were willing to like re photocopy those for us without charging us. And then we just got our photos taken of each of us. And he's getting those photos processed. Oh, the only scary part about it is I, I don't know why I didn't realize that the birth certificates and my marriage license goes with it, with all the documents. And so you have to like give that up for, what is it, seven to 10 weeks? <laughs> so it's a little bit nerve wracking to have it gone, but I have a second copy of my marriage license. And then um, just, I mean, it's, I'll get them back, it's fine. It's just weird. So then we'll 
I think we're done. We paid for it. We got all our checks here. We had to write individual checks for every single person. Um, otherwise, on one check, you have to put like every person's, what is it, name? Yeah, we'd have to put all five names somewhere on the check if we were to make a payment with one check. So Jason just wrote out five different checks. <laughs> um, he has a passport. His, when does yours expire, Jace? I don't know. Could you find out while we're here? <laughs> oh my gosh, this is such a man move. Huh? If his is gonna expire in three months, I'm gonna be really, really mad. Uh, no, 2029. Okay, good. When did you do yours? Like, what would you have done your passport for? 2019, May of 2019. But why did we, why? But we, what, we didn't go anywhere. Was that in place of like, I don't, I don't we were know. thinking of going somewhere. Were we? I don't remember. But I wouldn't, I would have done mine. Or if it was like the whole license thing where you had to have like the... Flying? The, yeah. Maybe. And you're like, well, I might as well just re renew my passport well, instead. I went down to Seattle and renewed it for some reason. Yeah, I don't know why you did yours and not mine. I didn't do mine. But my, so mine expired. Mine, like... I let it expire, so I have to redo mine. Um, but the two photos that I have in there from when I originally got my my passport when I was 18, um, and I went to Germany on for an exchange, and then I got another one done when we went to Ireland right before I got pregnant with Chelsea, um, and that was my butch days. I had like really short hair. <laughs> anyway. Um, Maybe if he gives that back to me, I'll show you my two photos. Cause they're, he's like, I think that we can safely say that you need a new photo. <laughs> I had brown hair and it was super short. I was like, yeah, we need a new photo. So we're just waiting. Dad has to test his birth dates of his children. This is Chelsea. 2005. Oh, wow. I don't know, 2010? Yeah. <laughs> Here. Okay, one, to Ashley. one is Ashley's oh, birthday. Four. Oh, two. Yep. When is your wife's birthday, honey? I even know. No, -uh, I don't know. In no, no. You have said the twelfth and the twenty-first, Jason. Which one is it? You can don't write it down. You can't have a scribble. Which one is it? Twenty-first. That's the first one I said. Then no. you started. No, you said the twelfth. No, I didn't. All right. Here's their mug shots. These are the extras that they we get. Look like a weirdo. She looks as white as they come. And then <laughs> they're all good photos. I look like I'm dead. I look like. I look even worse. You just look very white. You can't smile. So. Okay, we are done. And it is 12.39. Took 38 minutes. Not bad. They're really helpful. Could have shaved off a few minutes had dad known our kid's birth date. Shush. <laughs> So right? Bad. Dad could have saved us five minutes if he had known the birth dates. Could have saved us four minutes. <laughs> it could have saved us five minutes if you did it. I mean, that's what I mean. I would have been able to do it faster. But it's okay. That's right. He's got to learn them sometime before they're an adult. Yeah. Okay, we're going to go find some food. Probably oh, so Chick-fil-A. But it's probably a few cities away. We came home in the daylight, you might say. So why is it all of a sudden dark outside? That is because true to form. What are you doing? Getting apples. Okay. That's because true to form, Sunday form, I should say. We got home from getting our passports. Immediately sat down to watch the Seahawk game, which had just started like maybe a half hour before. So then we ended up having to like watch it live, like, you know, live basically. And I kept falling asleep and did she shut the garage? She did not. And, um, and then Ashley decided to go to her friend's house. So paused the game. I took a nap while Jason went and got, took her to her friend's house. I'm trying to find the garage door opener on my phone. Um, and then came home, finished watching the game as I in and out, fell asleep. Jason and I, we remember at least 10 times being awake at the same time last night from like 
2 a.m. to 7 a.m. No joke. And we're like, are we losing our minds? Are we awake again? Like, we kept saying it over and over. Are you awake again? Like, oh, we were so, we're so tired. And so we watched the game and uh, we won. Man, that was a nail biter. Um, and now I'm going back to get Ashley from her friend's house. And uh, we're gonna end our night. <laughs> it's just a normal Sunday. We're actually gonna watch Sister Wives. Maybe if there's any new, new good quotes or whatever, we'll share those with you guys. Um, I did learn more information really quick from our dear friend and follower, Nicole. Um, she has been our saving grace through this whole European travel planning for us. She might even, oh, she did. She sent another message. Um, so not only did she tell us about the place to go. So if you're in Washington and you need to get passports, go to Granite Falls. Um, there's, they have one at their like community, their city center. If you look up Granite Falls passport office, that's all they do there. Um, and so it was super easy. So then I texted her today telling her, thank you th so much for, you know, letting us know about it. She felt bad she wasn't going to be in town or we would have met you hundred percent. We had plenty of time today to do so, but she was out of town. Um, so then I got chatting with her afterward, um, telling her how well it went. And I, I, I don't remember if I, no, she brought it up. She asked me if I had TSA pre-check or global entry. And I have heard about global entry before, but I hadn't thought about it in terms of this. I'm turning, dude. Anyway, so I had heard about global entry, but I hadn't thought about it in terms of this trip that we're gonna go on to Japan. And so I was like, okay, you're my go-to person. Tell me about global entry. And so she told me just the little, the basic gist of it, which is you pay a hundred bucks per person and you get an account set up for each person online on the whatever, you know, government website it is and then once you're pre-approved then you make an appointment at the global office at the airport and you go to the airport and you each have your own set of interviews um, with your passport so we can't do it until we get our passports back which makes me all the more glad that we um, started this process early because um, it could take a couple months to get the global entry approved um, so, and then she also told me that if you get the global entry, getting TSA pre-check is only like $20, $25 more. <sighs> so we're doing that as well. Um, and so luckily we can, <laughs> our budget can hold off on that for a couple months until we get our actual passports back in the mail. And, um, and then we're going to go ahead and do the global entry because even if, I mean, I don't know what TSA pre-check is, but I know that it's going to be really beneficial to get the global entry. Um, we've seen the line firsthand. Well, not the actual customs line, but like they have, because we're flying out of Honolulu to go to Tokyo. At least that's my plan if it all works. And um, they have an actual section at the airport in Honolulu strictly for Japanese travel. Like the entire terminal is just for tra Japanese travel. And obviously then, then they have the um, customs section as well. And so I want to avoid that section at all costs. <laughs> I want to avoid the lines, I should say. Can't avoid the section. I just want to avoid the lines. Um, and we are trying to make it into Tokyo on a time crunch because we have dinner with the whole squad <laughs> that first night and so I really don't want to have anything go wrong so thank you Nicole for all your help in helping us get our passports um, and finding this office for us I felt bad at church today because <laughs> kind of got caught by um, our head you know it's called a bishop be like your pastor or your priest or whatever it's our head um, leader in our church and uh, he was like, oh, where are you, where are you going? Because <laughs> we left church early. I was like, oh, um, just, you know, going to get passports to go to Japan next year. So I'm ditching out on church. Oh, okay, have fun. And I was like, no, 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 
Like this is the only day we can go. I'm not being a bad person and ditch not on church just because I want to ditch out. I, like this is the only day that's open. And he was like, really? And I was like, yes, for all of our family to be able to get passport. He's all of you? Anyway, um, so I'm gonna look at the lights, hang on. But I'm gonna end our night with you because we just need to get back on a nice good schedule for the week. So good night and enjoy these little Christmas lights.